fees, Fulvius. Respect me here, at least. Agnes, I'm here to offer you my hand one last time. This time is not only myself that I offer you, but your life as well. Don't be ridiculous. You and I both know the of Rome. Rome will never know. We can escape to another place. Agnes, right now I have complete access to the outer gate. All we have to do is slip outside and be on our way. I can't go with you. I am consecrated, Volvius. Consecrated to Christ. I can have no other love. Madness. If you continue much longer in this frame of mind, worse things than death will be your fate. God will send his angels to protect me from shame. This is your choice. Life with me, or death. I should choose death rather than life with a monster like you. Death it shall be then. And for you too, Fabiola, you cross me again. Agnes, what is the meaning of this? I was arrested yesterday and brought here. And is Fulvius foolish enough to think that you are a Christian? I will go to Tertullus myself and tell him that this is an absurd charge. But I am a Christian, Fabiola. Since when? All my life. Why did you conceal it from me? I knew that you would never have listened. You were influenced to think that we were liars. Cowards. Cannibals and had ridiculous rights. But if I had known that you or Sebastian were Christians, I could not have hated it. I could have loved anything in you. That's what you think now that you're losing. Of course, you will make Fulvius prove that you are a Christian. No? I have already confessed it, and intend to do so publicly when they come for me this morning. This morning? So soon? Yes! Isn't that wonderful? Behold, what I have long coveted, I now see. What I have hoped for, I hold safe. Oh, is he not beautiful? How kind the whole expression of his face! And that sweetest, was gracious of ladies, his mother, how willingly doth she beckon me forward to join her train. I come, I come. They have left Fabiola, but they will turn to me, and then we will part no more. Fabiola, I have one dying quest. Tell me, I will do anything. Then promise me that you will learn more about Christianity. What a wonderful being Christianity will make you. When I look at you now, I see in you a noble mind, a keen intellect, and a generous heart. But there is more, so much more that you can become. How? You are on the verge. One step further, you'll be immersed in the waters of life. From that bath, you shall arise a new creature born again to eternal life. What a new world you are leading me to, Agnes. If only you are not leaving me on its very threshold. Listen, Fabiola, that's my bridal party. Farewell, don't cry. I wish you knew how happy I am. Now, as we Christians say, God bless you.